All right, guys, my name is Little Chef, and welcome back to another episode of the Gonzaga series. We are one to one, just a heartbreaking loss against Washington State. Shouldn't have lost that game at all. Not happy about it. Um, fumble, my center cost me that game. I got, got my, uh, my running back hurt, George, and then next play, fumble the ball. Just not a good situation. They end up scooping, scoring, tying it up. We go to overtime and lose because we can't hit the two-point conversion. But hey, it is what it is. On to the next week, as they say. We have a bye week this week, and then Oregon State. So it's going to be a little longer episode as we run through the recruiting class, see who's still interested and who's not. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get you guys. I think Doggett had said, hey, there's an easy workaround. Just make everybody a punter. Put the stats that you want them. And whenever you get them, make them do whatever position you want to do. And it's like, hey, that's a sweet idea. But I like, I like the chase, man. I like trying to figure out where everybody's at who's going where if i can get them or not i mean i'm already locked out for the oklahoma guy it's just the way it works you know you know what i mean it makes it a little bit more complicated to try to get everybody that, that i'm trying to but we're gonna do our best i'll probably actually update and see where everybody else is at and what their stats are like so far from last year and see what we're doing other than the guys on our team so we'll actually check that out as well after the next advance so in the week four We'll check that as well. I need to bring that up on my other screen so I remember what what person went where. You know what I mean? And some people aren't even starting. I think some people got red shirt. We'll try to check out their stats, see what's going on. Whenever we get there, I guess I didn't need any recruits. I mean, not really much of a surprise. No, no recruits. Win got player of the week though. Looking at this, looking at the sidebar. Um, honored following a tough loss. I guess he had a pretty good game, even though he got hurt at the crucial moment of the game when I had Ro come in and he was garbage. No surprise there. All right, guys, who wants to come play with us? We're still, we're like three three schools on this list. We're dropping 60 points a week. No surprise. I mean, they got a better recruiting option than we do. If we could put an extra 100 or 200, we'd be okay. But at least we're beating out of Oregon. The corner blaze, same thing there. Dang it, dude. Just not able to get these guys. Probably going to lose Flanagan. I'm going to go ahead and drop the points off. And I'm going to keep them on my board. I just can't. I mean, a thousand, uh, almost 1,200 points back and losing 285. There's no real point on me wasting my points week in and week out to see where I stand. So we're, we'll keep him on the list, but he's got to drop off. Gary McNeil. He's going to probably going to be the first one we get to commit, I'm hoping. Same thing with Trey Davis. I would love to get him, but looks like Texas Tech way more interested I'm going to drop him down as well. Like, I want to put points on these guys to try to get them to commit, but I'm not, I don't want to waste points week in and week out at the same time. Um, Dennison, okay. Dennison looking pretty good. Seldman also looking really good. Dwayne. Uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of apprehensive on Dwayne or Jeremiah here just because he's only 200 points back. If we level up our coach again, which we're about to, maybe I can put extra points on him. Maybe, I think that's what, extra 100? But that still wouldn't help it. Yeah, let's go ahead and take points off Barry. Like, like I said, I, I want, I want these guys. I really do. But I need to look at my team first. You know what I mean? Dogged. Why? Why? <laughs> why don't you want to come play with me? Why don't you want to come play with me, guys? I don't understand. You guys don't like my my school. Both outside linebackers. Dang, those are like positions I needed too. Adam Johnson only 60 points back. I'm gonna keep you. I mean, we're, we're only 860 points down, but only 60 points lost per week. James Madison, very interested. Tank, ah, uh, Illinois. Illinois wants them hard. Or is that Indiana? That's Indiana and Illinois. That am my thinking. Jimmy, yep, gotta drop you down too. Just not, not gonna happen, man. Won't happen. Preston Butler, I'm gonna put more points on you than I have points available. Because we only lost 200 last week, only 800 down. So, hey, we should gain 300 points this week. You know what I mean? Possibly. Uh, Micah Johnson or Micah Jackson. Is he a customer recruit? I don't think he is. What do we have? We got one, two, three, four. I think I did 13, 14. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And nine is 14 plus the one's 15. So he's not. So I'm kicking him off my board. <laughs> he's not He's not on my list, so he can get off. I'm um, saying, no, can't, no, not Trey Davis. All right. So we need to go back through and reload and see what else we could do. Kind of keep an eye out on the other guy from Oklahoma and see what we need. Team-wise, what do we need? We need a fullback, which we're still shooting for, the guard, which we dropped out on. 
Same thing with the linebackers. I think we lost out on everybody. So we're going to go ahead and load up on the linebackers as well. Because we need somebody. Somebody's got to come play for us. See, I'm just going to go through all prospects because why not? Uh, Corey Humphrey. Might I kick you off my board? <laughs> you want to go to somebody else instead? That sounds about right. I can't think of where the other guy is from. I think he's a receiver. Don't hold me to it. All right, let's see. Linebackers. Why did I go to quarterback? I'm happy with my quarterback play for the most part. Okay, linebackers. I, I want to look by percent locked, but I also want to see what else we can do. 25%. I don't think we'll be able to steal him away. 19. That's that's more like it. 19%. <laughs> As for dang sure, 19% is workable. Dog is just not, not interested in my school, man. I want him to be. He just doesn't want to be. 22%? I'll, I'll take a chance on you. Why not? P Hawk? Phil Hawk. Oh, minus 64. Yeah, that's a no go. That's a it's a big no go. Was it Chris White? <laughs> He's got me locked out as well. I don't know. And then we'll check out Chase. Alright. Outside linebackers, good middle linebackers. It's, the linebackers always go real quick. They're kinda like offensive line, man. They're just real hard to recruit for some reason. I don't know why, at least they're hard for me to recruit. Let's see, 19% four star. You're probably gonna drop a little bit, you're gonna dip, but it's all good. I right, have 66 and 71. All right, we got our three. We're okay there, Thompson. No. And then we're gonna check out corners, man. If anything, we need help at the corner position and fast. I mean, we, we've got decent starters. It's just not, not good enough, dude. We just can't hang with a lot of these teams. And it's definitely noticeable there's no way around that it's very very obvious that we can't hang especially when they just lob it up deep every single time it's like all right well we're gonna move on and hopefully we don't have to see this ever again <laughs> all right let's check out some of those athletes too just because i like to look at the athletes found some real good players there man real good players you're only 21 percent locked in your five star okay i'll put i'll put the first one on board Wilkerson is saying no go. Is Wilkerson? Parksville? No, I don't think so. Parks? Somebody, I'm trying to figure out the other guy's name. I don't remember off the top of my head. Roach? No. Come on, somebody else. Fifteen percent. There you go. That's what I'm like. That's what I like to see. And then offensive line. Was it guard? Guard. Hey, <laughs> nineteen percent four star. All right. I will most definitely scout you, both of you, actually. And then anybody else 18 percent three star go ahead and add both those guys all right i think we're okay we're gonna go ahead and look at some of the other offensive line just because gary mcneil looking real good he's gonna be my my top priority probably uh i have both those i'm just gonna load up online i think that's gonna be a big thing for us later on brooks 26 percent. i think it's too much too much of a risk all right here we go 16 percent you're, you're doable, the other guy, not so much. <laughs> and 19. All right, two more people. Let's check out wideouts. Eh, tight ends. Wideouts are pretty much an abundance every year. Tight ends are, like everybody else, hard to come by. So let's load up on the tight ends and see. I mean, cause we, we're going to need more people next year. That's for dang sure. But, let's see those guys. Lawrence, all right. What we got? 71 overall, 72. That's that's keepable. Jake Foreman, that's keepable. If you're over 70, I'll probably keep you on my list. If you're under 70 like Blake Chase, you can get out. I don't want you. Oh my goodness, find a gym. Yo. Yo. He's a plus 9, 81 overall. To me, the home's an issue, but holy crap, dude. I'm going to move you up real quick. I'll probably put you up above Nick West because... I'll probably take points off of that guy. <laughs> Dang, dude. That'd be a great find. That's a bust. That's a huge bust. Ugh. We are, what, 150 points away? Maybe we can find some more busts in gyms. Eight. There's another middle linebacker. I'm going to move you up, too. Find some good players, man. I'd rather have, well, he's got a good tackle. Block shedding, 82. Zone, 74. Man, 68. This guy's just a little bit quicker, doesn't tackle as good, so he's he's not bad either. He's also worth worth keeping. Oh my gosh, dude. 
Y'all, y'all, come, come play for me. Play for me right now. Actually, we'll move you. <laughs> move you. 92 speed, 87 acceleration, 87 zone. I'm sure you're, you're a corner, not, not a safety. I mean, based off those stats, you, you got you to be confused by what you are. 68 overall, 71, I'll keep you. You got some pretty... 86 man coverage and 88 speed. How tall are you? Like 5'11", 5'10"? Yeah, freaking T-tiny. Dang it. I don't like the short guys. 76 running back. 87 speed, 83 agility. Yeah, we'll say running back. 71 to 74 quarterback slash receiver. All right, we'll keep him. 79. All right, Jimmy. I like it. I like it. I don't have the plus six. Why do y'all make it complicated for me? I want to go after my, my stud recruits. I don't want to go after all these other guys that are also really good. Come on, man. Guards will be huge to pick up. Dang, dude. It's like, what do you do in that situation? I don't have enough points to go around. Let's see. I'm going to put... I'm gonna put you above. I think I think Maurice Anderson will be a nice pickup. Nick, you're just losing all kinds of points, dog. Middle linebacker, you get all the points. As of right now, I mean, next week we'll probably reduce it and see what we have left. Another plus. Oh my gosh, man! We are finding a lot of gems and a lot of busts. Or people that won't play for us. <laughs> not really bust, but you're not gonna play. I'm not gonna waste my time. There's your bust. 120 points away. Come on. 120 points. I got three scouts left and I got three players left. Would you look at that? Worked out pretty good. 68. Sorry. Howard Presley. Yo, gone. Michael Campbell. You are also gone. I don't want to deal with a 69, man. I don't want to wait. I need instant players. Instant starters. And if you're not one of them, you're not on my team. I need to move all these, all these custom recruits down to the bottom so I have an idea where they're at. Because they're Jer Jeremiah Berry. I think yeah, Trey Davis is the top. Okay, I was like, is he one? I need to have every time I do this, I need to have that spreadsheet open so I know who's who and where they're where they're at, what position they are. Because I'm seriously getting confused on who's who sometimes. See, that should be four. Yeah, yeah. And then Davis will be the quarterback, which would be number five. So sadly, unable to get at least five, no, at least six, counting the guy that locked me out. But at least six recruits. It's just the way it works, man. Move the other guard up, who's a who's a plus. The athletes up. Sorry, sorry, Nick West, dude. I gotta. <laughs> you're gonna slide down the list. There's just no way around that. It's not gonna happen. Not this year. Unless you unless you want to come play for me, I'm not gonna pursue you any harder than that. These are the new top. I got one guy I'm shooting after, and the next week I'll have more more points to put on him. I'm hoping. I can unlock all these guys. Nobody's ready for a visit yet. Surprise, surprise. I'm not the top school on anybody, am I? But I haven't already offered a scholarship to you, right? None of these guys that should be even on their list. So that, that's going to help. That's going to help. I think I think we're okay. We reloaded the board with some quality recruits. It's looking fairly good. How far did we drop after the loss? <laughs> Dang it. After the loss last week. That's the biggie. Down to 81. Still in the top 100. Happy about that. Especially only a two-star school, but 75s overall. Maybe, maybe this next week we'll jump up. I'm hoping we can get we can get something, man. I mean, my coach XP is about to level up, and we're gonna we're gonna put it on something. What are we? Week three, about to be in week four, and that's just extra points. So, hmm. So what should I do? The visit. Or just the extra points. It's an extra, was it an extra 500 points? And so one more person I can recruit. Because kitchen sink I can't do until after I get this leveled up. What it needs. 10 ranks and I got three. I got seven. So I got to do a lot more before I can even get there. So I might actually go ahead and put it here. Dang it, dude. This is always the complicated part. Because I know I'm going to have visits coming up soon. So that's an extra 100 points right off the bat. Bam. Done. But I need to put extra points on people this year. But I'm only going to have that for week four, week five, week six, week seven. So four weeks. Whereas here I have it the rest of the year. That's, that's 
confusion, man. <laughs> if I had the points, I wouldn't really worry about it, but I don't have the points. So we're going to advance it to the next week, see how it goes, see if we move up a little bit. I'm going to load up that other spreadsheet so I have an idea of where everybody's at. We can check out those guys, see what their stats are like through three weeks. And we're going to be right back. Would you look at that? We got two people ready to visit Fox Trent and Blaze Johnson, both custom recruits. So hopefully, we can get them to come on and sign, man. If we can get them this week, maybe. Yeah, playing at home. Let's go ahead and see if we can get them to come this week. Got an extra thousand points to put on people. Should be able to level up my coach after the game at the very least. But we got two people ready to visit. Let's check them out. We're second place and second place, both to Washington. Are you serious? Why? Why? Why don't y'all want to play for me? They got week 13. I'm going to try to get them early. So I'm going to try to get them to come this week. And hopefully they'll they'll sign before. Because we got the only other options like 8, 9 or, or later on. So week 4 is the best option for these two. And then after that we'll see. I'm not getting a whole lot of points for it for the visit. But I'll, I'll take any opportunity I can get to sign some of these prospects, man. Because that's... That's the objective. So week four for the top two guys. Still looking good for Gary. Happy about that. I've already offered them both scholarships. Okay. Um, same thing. Denison still looking good. Selman still looking good. Still losing points for Adam, but we're gonna keep we're gonna keep putting the points on him as of right now. It's kind of iffy. Same thing with with Tank. We'll we'll take anything we can get. Preston jumped up. See that's what I'm talking about. Jumped up five or two hundred points. And then some of these other guys that we got. The middle linebacker, nobody's pushing hard on. Yeah, Maurice, nobody's pushing hard on. Yeah, we'll go ahead and lock out those three. <laughs> those are going to be the big guys. The big guns, the ones we're shooting hardcore for. Sadly, Jordan Nichols, not so much. Not interested in this. Already found better options. A thousand points back. We're going to keep him on the board for now. It's not hurting nothing. Frank West. I might as well be Frank fullback. Nick West. Everybody else still dropping way, way down on the list, but nobody's committed yet. And the other guy is, let's see if I can pull up his name real quick. It is Zachary Gilbert. He's a free safety. So let's go ahead and check him out, see what he's doing. Because I'm curious to see if he's committed yet or not. I don't think he has, but kind of get an idea on where he's at. Let's look at Vaughn Gilbert. Where you at? Still 67%, but looks like Oklahoma more than likely. Or Oklahoma State. Yeah, they got a huge lead. Golly. So I'm going to say he's going to Oklahoma State. We'll keep an eye out on him later on. But recruiting's coming along pretty good. Let's go ahead and check out the guys from last year. We have one person, two people on our team. If that's about it. And we're, we're sitting okay. We're not too bad. Championship contenders. See what we got going on. 83, so we dropped, what, two spots? Which isn't bad. We got another out-of-conference game. We haven't. We don't even have a conference game yet uh, this this season. And how are we sitting? How's everybody else doing in our conference? 2-0 San Diego State. I think that's going to be the biggest challenge in our conference, at least on our division side, because they're a really good team. They've only given up 16 points you know, and scored 57. <laughs> Granted, we put up, like, what, in two games, we were averaging, was that 64 and a half points? Granted, we're also giving up 42 points, but that last one was kind of an iffy situation. Well, we just need to keep playing and playing our lights out. It will be okay. All right, let's check it out. We want to see stats. Career stats, yeah. Career stats. Now, we're going to go look for the two guys this year. Receiving-wise, we have Matt Gonzalez, 5 for 63. Okay, that's not bad. A long of 32 hasn't been the main target. I mean, Hunter always going to be the main target. And then Kenny right behind him. But actually, I need to look at season stats, not career stats. Season stats. So we can see what's going on. Win, 20 incomplete passes. And three of those are picks. So 17 that have not gone to the other team. That's pretty good completion rating. Happy about that. We're in the ball. George, 46 for 331. He's doing all right. Starting the season. Pretty happy with how his production is going. Yeah, Gonzalez still like fifth on the list. He's just trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to give him the ball more, trying to feed him some more options. It's just with like, this freshman on the outside's at 80 overall, dude. He's getting all the playing time. Kenny is 76. I even moved Gonzalez up in the lineup 
above the other freshmen to try to give them some more action. It's just not working out so well. And then the other guy is the defensive end, Mr. Freeze, which I don't think he's playing this year. I think I redshirt him. And that's what it looks like. All right, so we need to go look at these other guys. We're just going to jump cut to each one, respectively. All right, so for Colorado, Craig Collins isn't playing. Looks like they red to shirt him this year, or he's got no stats so far. He's a strong safety, so no stats for him this year. For Louisville, we got Braden Durham. This guy got on there twice. Oh, nope, completely different guy. Looks like they red shirt him for Louisville, and then the other option is a running back, and red shirt him too. That was Quell Speed. So both the guys on Louisville's team have been red shirt. Man, none of these guys want to play for the other teams. When y'all could have played on my team instead of sitting out a year. Oh, Daly. Um, Peyton Daly. Also not playing as a receiver for Michigan. And then Texas Banana Man. I'm going to go out on a limb and say red shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so far, nobody's played other than the two guys on my team. UCLA, they got Pong. Hey, he's playing. We got somebody else playing. All right. Three tackles. One solo, two assists, no sacks, no picks, no fumbles, no touchdowns. Hey, that's not bad for a true freshman playing in, in, in this team. 71 overall for UCLA. It's not bad at all. And then Washington State had Peter hit. Also looks like he's red shirt. So it looks like just the two guys on my team, actually Gonzalez on my team, and then um, Pong, the defensive tackle for UCLA, are the only two custom recruits playing this year. Everybody else was either cut, which hopefully it was not, or red shirt because they're not getting any stats as of right now which is crazy because i would have taken all of them guys dude <laughs> no joke i would have put them all on my team like in an instant dude but we are we're looking good we got a game against oregon state this week still out of conference another pack 12 opponent so hopefully we can come out and get the win that's gonna be it for this episode if you guys are new be sure to subscribe if you like the video be sure to leave a like my name is little chef and i will see y'all next time